Hi everyone, welcome back to this week Technical Insights. Global stock markets had another positive week as stocks jumped on the latest US initial jobless claims that came in sharply higher by 22,000 to 231,000 against analyst expectation of 210,000. This further reinforced the weaker than expected non-farm payroll numbers we saw the previous Friday, thereby strengthening the argument that the US economy is not overheating or reaccelerating. Hence, the next course of action by the US Fed will likely be a rate cut instead of a rate hike, and that helped global equities here lock another positive week. Fed fund futures are now pricing in around a 50% likelihood of a 25 basis rate cut in September, according to the CME Fed Watch Tracker. Before we go further, let's do a quick recap of how the markets have ended last Friday. Our Singapore Straits Times Index closed higher on Friday, up 25 points or 0.76%. In Asia, Hong Kong Hang Seng Index led the regional market higher, up by about 425 points or 2.3%. Japan Nikkei 225 also advanced 155 points to 0.41%. Taiwan 50 Index rose 132 points or 0.82%. In the US, the Dow Jones Index surged 125 points or 0.32% for its eighth consecutive winning session. The S&P 500 added 8 points or 0.16%. Nasdaq Composite Index, however, inched lower by 5 points or 0.03%. Investors' enthusiasm were kept in check after consumer sentiment data released on Friday showed a big uptick in inflation expectations. For the week, all three major US indices ended on a high note. The Dow Jones posted a 837 points gain or 2.16% for the week to close at 39,512 points. This is its best week since December and its fourth consecutive positive week in a row. The S&P 500 climbed 95 points or 1.85% for the period to close at 5,222 points. This is S&P 500 third consecutive winning week. Tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite Index added 184 points or 1.14% 1 to close at 16,340 points. Markets have been optimistic lately after the Fed indicated that the next move would likely be a rate cut instead of a rate hike, pointing to a cap on the interest rate that could be bullish for all the equities markets. But that will be put to the test again next week when the April Consumer Price Index or the CPI data is released. In Asia, Hong Kong Hang Seng Index extended weekly gains and the Hang Seng Index hit a 10-month high, a sign that momentum is actually building up in the Hang Seng Index. The Hang Seng Index rose 487 points or 2.64% to close the week at 18,963 points, rising more than 24% from their January low and extending their bull run this year. The Hang Seng Tech Index, however, lost 9 points or 0.23% for the period to close at 3,900 and 62 points. Bloomberg reported that regulators were considering a proposal to exempt individual investors from paying taxes on dividends earned from Hong Kong stocks bought through the Stock Connect. Week to date, our STI index edged slightly lower by 2 points or 0.07%. This was after the benchmark clocked two weeks of solid gains of over 3.5% led by the trio of local banks which reported their earnings last week. Top performer on the STI index last Friday were Hong Kong Land and Semcorp Industry, up 2.45% and 2.12% respectively. So let's go to the charts and analyze if both stocks will continue to rebound and rise further in the next few weeks. First, let's have a look at Hong Kong Land. We did an update on the analysis of Hong Kong Land on the 8th of April video. We concluded that the support level at the $3 or the 307 level would be the preferred entry level for Hong Kong Land and the first resistance would likely be at the 50 days moving average at around the $3.18. One week later, after the 8th of April video, Hong Kong Land share price tested this support level at the $3 level and touched a low of $2.78. It also breached the lower bound of the Bollinger Band over here and rebounded very strongly. The RSI also hit a low of 30 points this period on the 17th of April, an indication that the share price is at an oversold level below the $3 mark. All the signals pointed to a quick rebound in the Hong Kong land share price and the share hit the 50 days moving average, which is our first resistance target at the end of April. Hong Kong land share price then continued to push higher 
and has now formed a higher high, a sign of a reversal in the downtrend that we observed since the beginning of the year. It is now on the verge of testing the year-to-date high that we saw in the January period at $3.36. And a bridge above this level would mean that the next target would be the upper bound of the Bollinger Band over here, the white line, at $3.43 in the coming weeks. The MACD indicator is still showing very strong positive momentum with a good positive reading. The RSI indicator is now at 67, and so there is a bit more of an upside to go before it hit the 70 point overbought mark. So for now, the target for Hong Kong land would be the upper bound of the Bollinger Band at $3.43. Next, let's take a look at Semcorp Industry. Semcorp Industry share price has been on an uptrend since the low on 30th of October at $4.42. Their share price hit a year to date high at $5.79 on the 20th of February and suffered a massive pullback towards the year to date low at $4.83 on the 13th of March. Prices then rebounded and on last Friday, at a closing price of $5.29, is currently resting on the support of the red color line that you see here, which is the 200 days moving average level at $5.15. Below this is the Bollinger Band support level, the lower bound of the Bollinger Band at $5.10. Last Friday, the 2.12% jump in share price caused the MACD indicator to narrow its negative reading. Hence, the MACD line is now converging towards the signal line, an indication that the negative momentum that we saw in the last few weeks has been subsiding for now. The RSI jumped from 42 points to 51 points, signaling a strong rebound in momentum. And we are now also above the 50-point neutral mark in the RSI reading. All these signs are possible technical rebounds for Semcorp Industries and investors looking at getting into Semcorp may consider the lower bound of the Bollinger Band at $5.10 as an entry as a support and target the upper bound of the Bollinger Band at $5.43. Anything above this, the 4th of April high, which is around here at $5.47, will be the next resistance level. And these are the updates that I have for you this week. If you do find this information useful, do remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest market movement. And I'll see you again next week in the next Technical Insights.